Good morning. Cozy, cool weekend here in Tokyo. Today I thought we'd do something different. You guys know how like when you come to Japan, all you see everywhere, like the cities or temples, train stations, deep in the woods, all you see everywhere are vending machines. Japanese people love vending machines. I mean, I love vending machines too, but they really love vending machines. There's some crazy ratio, like there's about one vending machine to 22 to 23 people. Also, interesting fact, did you know that every year about 2.18 people die from vending machines? I mean, I don't know what the 0.18 person looks like, but he dead. So I figured today for breakfast and lunch, let's just go snack on vending machines. And I'm at this one right here. This is a shimbashi right now. And oh, I'm afraid to go inside. I mean, it looks kind of cool because there's tons of food and vending machines in there, but it's such a confined space. And apparently they allow smoking. And also there's some group lunch going on in there or something. I mean, can you imagine the conversation? Hey, Bob, what do you want to do for lunch today? Hey, you know what? Let's go into this little tight space filled with vending machines. That should be awesome. Actually, that does sound pretty awesome. Yeah, I would do that. You know, I'm just gonna stand out here until they leave. This is a little, a little too cramped and really don't wanna breathe in all that smoke. I think they're drinking in there. And they sell liquor in there, so it's like 10 in the morning. Okay, that just wasn't gonna happen. People kept actually going in there. I didn't know how popular a vending machine filled room would be, but evidently it's immensely popular. When I gave up and left, there was about 20 people in this tiny, tiny little room. I'll show you guys when we go back probably later tonight or early tomorrow morning when I think there'll be less people over there. So we're going to a, another vending machine location. This one is in uh, Akihabara and it's a little freaky I hear. Infamous vending machine corner of Akihabara. So apparently there's some really weird stuff in these vending machines. In the outside, it looks pretty normal. Your typical capical teas, waters, juices, coffees. Once you go inside, oh. you walk into the darkness of vending machine corner. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not that creepy. All right, let's see what they have here. It's really much smaller than I thought. It's just like whatever you see here on the outside. And then there's a few machines in there and some warning signs. Oh, jeez, okay. All right, I can read a couple of characters. It says poop and pee, man-woman relationship. So I'm assuming it says don't have sex and don't poop and pee in here, which I think are very valid warnings. And also I wish I saw that sign before I just like, you know, randomly walked around without looking at the ground. Anyway, let's see what the vending machines have. All right, you can get your passport photos done here. This machine looks so old. What is up with this creepy beetle? This machine looks like it hasn't been updated in about 50 years. Okay, here you can get little toy trains. Yeah, I think a wind chime. Okay, so this beetle's five bucks. This is seven dollar. Oh, different types of beetles. Wow. Guochan Jiro. This says domestic chicken in a can. Oh, wow. Okay. Pasta in a can. This is interesting. So this is freshly made popcorn. Normal drinks. Mystery box vending machine. Okay, so this thing has a bunch of mystery boxes as well, uh, mixed in with all the drinks and just some random stuff in these vending machines. What is this, like a jar of candy? And this looks like quail eggs. You can buy some bells, some soups, some jam, or if you want some bouncy balls. Holy crap, I think that's spicy bear meat. Hokkaido produced bear meat. Wow. And a can of snails. This is some meal kit that you can eat in three minutes and it has a five year shelf life. All right, let's start off with something mild, you know, before the 
potential bear meat or something. Popcorn, freshly popped. Three types of flavors, but really just salt. It is so helpful to be able to read Chinese characters in Japan. What? What? Um. Um. I think this thing just took all my money. I need these guys didn't look that honest. Wow, this vending machine day is not starting off so well. <sighs> like I want to get stuff, but all right, let's try one of these mystery packages. Okay, which one should I get? Which one should I get? Thirty-seven. Good lord, there's a candle in here. I wanted to get one of these beetles because like, I wanted to know what, this is a constructed thing. This is not even like a store pack. Someone took half a plastic bottle, put tape over it, and there's stuff inside. This is so, bloody weird okay uh let me open this and see what's inside i don't even know how to open this right now i feel like you need a knife for this what the heck is in this look at this oh it's like damp newspaper what? Well, there's not a real beetle in here. I'm almost afraid to unwrap this newspaper. Okay, it feels like a rock. Ew! <laughs> what the heck is brick? It's a piece of a brick with a with a cement on here. This is like weirder than weird. I don't understand. I mean, I guess it's a joke. It must be. I just pay five dollars for a piece of piece of brick. Okay, let's see what this is. I feel like it might be another brick. And it is another brick. Is this like a special brick from like a holy place or something? Maybe that's it. And right, here's the beetle. Oh, you can, you can wind it up and it walks. Yeah, there you go. And there's one more, possibly another brick. And this thing is wrapped in tape. It's kind of gooey. The weirdness continues for me in this car. Oh, it, yeah, it's a rock. I wouldn't even buy a drink in any of these vending machines because they're probably contaminated with some weird mojo. You know what I'm gonna do though? Uh, we'll make a little game out of this. So as adorable as this beetle is, it's not. I'm gonna put this somewhere and then when this video comes out, maybe one of you guys can find it and keep it. You know, those of you who like beetles. Oh my God, by the way, you can actually go into this. Look at this. So there's stuff in here too. What the? Ugh. Ugh. Oh my God. Oh wow. This is such a horrible place. Oh, there's another popcorn vending machine. I think I'm good with trying this thing out. All right, what I'm gonna do is put the beetle. Ugh. This is so nasty. And I'm gonna put the beetle up here. All right, so those of you who actually want a beetle, there you go. Oh, I gotta get out of here before I catch something. Oh, ah. so I just came out of the worst version of Narnia ever. It's like Japan Narnia through the vending machine cracks. Let's see what this is. So this is equally strange. Can't read this, obviously. It's like a little message here. All right, I can pick up bits and pieces of words and it's kind of disturbing. Something about violence and anyway, all my good feelings of today have just completely washed out of me since I've been to this corner. I feel like the day has gotten darker. I'm not joking, the sun's gone. Even the sun senses the evil of this place. Oh, there's a little chocolate covered crackers. That's not so evil. I just paid $5 for chocolate covered crackers. $3 for no popcorn. And $6, $5, $6 for 
for a beetle with some rocks. This is the, like the least fun game ever. But at least uh, I've been here and I kind of figured out what this place is. And hopefully no vending machine demons have followed me from the vending machine up this. That is this place. You know all those vending machine deaths I talk about? I'm pretty sure this is where it happens, so... I'm gonna get out of here before I become a statistic. Probably the freakiest place I've been to in Japan. Like right in the heart of Tokyo. All right, I gotta disinfect myself. Do you think uh, hand sanitizers, Purell, do you think it cleanses evil too, along with the bacteria? I mean, 99% bacteria. That'd be a good slogan, right? It kills 99.9% .9 of all bacteria and evil. Okay, let's get as far from here as possible. You guys notice how it became really, really crazy windy? Right after I left that vending machine place, I'm kind of seeing the connection here. Like, it is crazy windy right now. Oh, oh my god. Right now I'm heading towards Meiji Jingu Gai. It's a really popular park. You can go skating, there's playgrounds, baseball fields, and there's also a row of 24-hour vending machines. If you listen, there's a baseball game today. I used to stay at a hotel that overlooked that baseball stadium. I don't know if you guys remember the videos the last time I was here. And I used to go running every day through this park and that's when I saw these vending machines. Here it is, about a dozen vending machines from juices to teas to cup noodles, ice cream, whatever you want, it's here. And of course, the hot meals. I've literally had zero food today, so let's eat. You know what, as much as I hate cup noodle, I'm really feeling like some instant noodles right now. Seafood or curry? Curry. Curry noodle, chopstick. I gotta say though, usually in a cup noodle, it doesn't have this much ingredients. Like I'll put up a picture of a US cup noodle here for you. It's so much fuller than a regular cup noodle that you get in the States. Huh, so interesting. Three minutes. That sure looks halfway decent. Wow, it's thick curly noodles. The soups turn really, really thick. Oh my gosh, it actually looks like it has quite a bit of substance. I think there's more noodles in here than the typical cup noodles as well. Little pieces of potatoes, little pieces of meat. This actually looks and smells great. Oh my God, like seriously, why can't this brand taste this good in the US? I've hated on this brand my entire life. I mean, this is the cheap 10 cent noodles we used to get in college, but now having it in Japan, this is a game changer. The little bits of meat actually taste delicious. Mmm, potatoes taste potato-y. The noodles actually have a good amount of chew. Don't soak it for that long, and it's gonna have a great bounce to it. The curry is smooth, it's actually thick. You see how that condensed? The ingredients are great. The flavor is rich, it's a little spicy. I have never thought I would ever say that this brand of instant noodles is delicious, but holy mind blown. This broth is actually really good. It's creamy from the tomatoes too. Mm. When's the last time I finished a broth from one of these noodles? Never. All right, let's see what else we should get. Takoyaki, a hot dog, french fries, onigiri. And what is this, like a chicken burger? All right, I want a hot dog. Oh, you get two hot dogs. Takes about 75 seconds. Fries take about a minute and 10 seconds. <laughs> I was expecting like a tray for some reason, but it's just a, a box of hot dogs. Get a burger too. I think it comes with a set of fries, hopefully. 90 seconds. Gives me enough time to buy a drink. I don't know why, but this Minime thing just looks really, really sexy to me. See how my burger is. Nine seconds. Hot dog. Wahahaha. <laughs> and the hamburger set. Ooh. 
Wow. Yeah, that kind of looks like something you get in an elementary school cafeteria. And the hot dog. Wow. Looks like something really shriveled up. Okay, fries. This is definitely more soft and gooey um, than fried. Oh, that was like a chicken burger. And that either is ketchup or someone stabbed the bun. And the hot dogs. Wow, they're the tiniest hot dogs ever. Whew. What the? Okay, ketchup and mustard inside. Eh, at least there's condiments. This is not the best day for an outdoors picnic. So I'm gonna call this my vending machine picnic day. Yum me. Good job, Minute Maid. Peach and grape soda. That totally works. First of all, these are one biter hot dogs. Like I really feel like I'm in some elementary school and these are the kids portions. With that said, the hot dogs are really juicy and the mustard's good. That's not a bad hot dog. It tastes like a regular hot dog would taste. It's just smaller and it came out of a vending machine. But if I didn't tell you that, you would never know. Good for me. Oh, that was still frozen. The, the fries, they, they need some time. Oh. Chicken nuggets, I kid you not. Besides the fact that it's not crispy outside, this chicken nugget tastes better than 70% of fast food restaurants because it actually tastes like chicken. None of that artificial tofu stuff. That is just a flat burger. I need this hot dog to come and save me. Ah, that is the worst burger I've ever put in my mouth. If I didn't know it was already cooked, I would be like, this is raw. It's just some kind of strange, mushy, mystery meat. It's so bad. I mean, the onions in there were probably the best thing of this burger. This combo is just the worst. But this is nice. Go for the hot dog. I'm so glad I did not get this order of just frozen fries. I'm gonna call these frozen fries from now on. All right, let's try these two. I'm kind of afraid now, but it's already been this far. This 90 seconds, you need to double that. Look at this, corn and cheese soup. Sure, why not? Corn and cheese soup. You're supposed to drink it like a soda, apparently. It's like eight takoyakis here and four onigiris. This is the takoyaki. Oh, it's so gooey. I wish I could jump on top of it, though. Look at it. It's so bouncy. Corn and cheese. Definitely smell the corn. That's not bad. It's not great. But it's not bad. There's no chunks of corn here. It's just a cheesy corn soup. Sweet and cheesy. This on the other hand looks a little scary. This is so weird. It's extremely mochi -esque. There is a little squid in here. Let me see if I can show you guys what it looks like. You see here? It's a little squid in here. Wow, that is just very minuscule. I mean, it's not bad. Sauce is nice, but probably not something I would eat again voluntarily. Uh, I gotta say, this rice ball might be the best looking thing I got out of that vending machine so far. This is good. It's simple. It's a soy sauce glaze on the outside. And it's good and flavorful rice. I'm actually happy with the no surprises inside. So the best tasting thing out of that vending machine is 100% the hot dog. If you are ever desperate, get the hot dog. Stay away from the burger. That was just, oh my God, that was horrible. Takoyaki and the onigiri, it's okay. If you're starving, you want something a little mochi-esque, I guess you can get it, but do what's safe. Eat the hot dog. 
Something I never thought I'd ever say in my life. But yeah, it does apply here. All right, I'm gonna finish up and we're gonna head back to that vending machine room to see if the situation's a little better. All right, we're back. Oh, let's see if I can actually go into this thing. Only a couple of people in there. So you can get chicken, clams, basically canned meats and seafood here. A better assortment of instant noodles here. This place has a bathroom. Then you can get alcohol if you have a driver's license. You scan your driver's license here and make sure you're of age. Snacks. All right, lucky me. There were a couple of people in here and they just left. This place actually gets quite busy. And of course, it just reeks of smoke. There's no hot vending machines here except the ramen machine. I'll try this thing that has a little, little star symbol by it. Huh, no chopsticks. Honestly, it doesn't look as good as my cup noodle. Whoa, a little bit of clams and some kind of crazy dark gravy. I'll try to eat this with my ramen. Yeah, sweet clam. Not bad. It kind of goes well with these noodles. This little area, I feel like it's not nearly as good as what was over at the park. I see people coming in here, they're not buying anything, they're not drinking, they're just smoking. So people are really just using this as like enclosed smoke area. So don't recommend it, don't come in here. I mean, it's not as bad as the first place we went to in Akihabara, but not great. All right, I think I need some real noodles. Oh, by the way, this is some kind of energy bar. That's not fantastic. I don't know why I expected more from that place. I thought it was gonna be like a bunch of different hot foods, vending machines, gonna be a lot of fun and try all different things. Nah, that was not good. Okay, the noodle shop I'm going to is actually, you, you heard of standing steak, right? You have standing steak in Japan, standing steak places in Korea. This place I'm going to, this noodle shop, this soba noodle shop, is standing only soba. As long as I can find it. All right, I see it. This is a recommendation from my buddy John, by the way. Li shi hao, I get it. Standing eat. Hold something. Sure. Ah, show. Big water. They got some limbs. Wow. Big tempura on top. Underneath. All these noodles, wasabi. Look at this egg. Wow. Wow. My right, tempura, dip it in the sauce a little bit. Get my wasabi a little more involved. Mm. So much nice crunch still left in the tempura, even when you soak in that really nice dashi. Mm. The tempura fried perfectly. 
puts a melody of vegetables inside that light angelic batter, this noodle texture. Mm. It's everything you want in a good bowl of soba. That just capped up an amazing day. I couldn't really say much in there because all you hear in the shop is just slurping and then the subtle crunch from the tempura. It was like attending a soba tempura symphony. That's like all you hear is slurp, slight crunch, slurp, slight crunch. When I die and go to food heaven, I don't need harps. I don't need angels singing. I need that. This is what I love about Japan. This thing is like two, three blocks away from my Airbnb. I come in. You stand there, order your noodles, slurp away into total food ecstasy. In a few magical moments later, you get up and leave. And you can find these type of places everywhere. The tempura is so light and the vegetables, especially the bell peppers, bursted with that. Just a tiny bit of sweetness. The broth was flavorful and subtle. The noodles ever so elastic and chewy. Those are my favorite vending machines in the world. Anyway, today I just want to take it easy, have a little goofy day where I grow off and try different vending machine food. And it was interesting. Learn a lot. Okay, my gym time, but thank you guys so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later. The next day. Hey, it's me again. I think our vending machine adventure is not over quite yet because I didn't really get anything I really, really loved from those vending machines, so I reached out to my buddy John. Apparently, there's a couple I missed, so I'm back here again. Oh, go, go, curry. I remember that place. First time I had Japanese curry. Massive plate from right over there. Anyway, I'm back in Akihabara and uh, John said there's a couple vending machines here that I need to hit up. So we're gonna, we're gonna go meet up with him right now. of the place that makes the sandwiches from the vending machine. Right, right there? Yeah, this bridge is named after the company. Oh, cool. Wait, who's responsible for the for the crazy uh, corner vending machines? That, I don't know. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Right there. Oh, right there? Right there. So right beside the crazy vending machine corner is a good vending machine corner. Well, if you like pork cutlet sandwiches, this is a good vending machine corner. Oh, so this is it, pork cutlet sandwiches. Oh, they got some ice cream too, that's nice. Yeah. Well, they got hamburg sandwiches, they have uh, hide katsu, different cuts of the uh, pork cutlet pork, so that makes it a pretty diverse sandwich machine, I think. Well, let's get some sandwiches. Yeah. And they got a table here too, so you can actually eat. Oh, and they tell you the different sandwiches. Cool. <laughs> We got two katsu katsu sandwiches. Yeah. This is the what? This is the this is a hamburg. Not hamburg. technically a katsu, but it's a good sandwich. And this is the katsu. What? They got little little like what is this? Like a happy meal gifts on top? Are right, you know what this is? A lot of people come here to get their lunch for work. Uh -huh. So they buy a sandwich with the vending machine. They use this as a bag to oh, take it back. Oh, look at this! Work. I know. It's flipping adorable. Wait, this is a bag? Yeah. Open it up. By the way, we're right underneath the train line. Yeah. This is flipping adorable. Look at this. A little cow keychain. I want to collect all of these. <laughs> oh, look at it. This is a little, little lady cow. That is so cute. And this is the bag? Right. Oh, that is so cool. Dude, Japan thinks of everything, right? They got you Lunch covered. bag included. Oh, wet wipes too. This is packed so nicely, man. Oh, look at this. Wow. Crust cut off, typical Japanese MO, thick cuts of katsu. You had this before. I think it tastes as good as the uh, store. Yeah, I, I do like the hide. The difference is ro Ross katsu is a roast pork, yeah. and hide katsu is a pork tenderloin. So right. it's a little bit more of a premium cut, I feel. Okay, let's try it. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mm. This is awesome. Mm. Like I go to Meissen a lot when I, whenever I come to Japan. I didn't go this time, kind of sad, but it's like an itch I have. Like I gotta get it scratched and this kind of did it for me. I love the sauce that they use on these. 
sandwiches whenever you get tonkatsu. Wow. Oh man, that sweet and savory sauce with it. If you guys don't know, this sauce is like, it, it's made out of Worcestershire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting how like Japanese utilize that sauce for this food item, but it's so perfect. Mm. Let's try this. Mm, the Hamburg Sando. I just love how beautiful this is all packaged. Oh man, look at that. This is a beef sandwich. Yeah. Same nicely brown crust. And you can see the difference in the meat for sure. This is more like a hamburger looking patty. Oh. This is amazing. You like it? I love it. There's chunks of onions in mm -hmm. it, which is what I love. Mm hmm It's like a Salisbury steak patty. Oh, right, yeah. And it's got that great, nice Worcestershire sauce again. Yeah. A little sweet, little tingy. Man, definitely satisfies your sandwich craving. But having it fresh and like crunchy on the outside. Oh, yeah. I just don't know beating that. But if you're just like in a hurry, you want something that's like really, really legitimately good. Good and quick. It, it is, it is. And this machine sells out fast. Really? So they always have, actually the headquarters is just across the street. Yeah. They're always bringing fresh sandwiches in here. So you know you're getting a really good one. Yeah. Okay, we're going to eat up and then there's a couple more places, right? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Well, this is your friend's vending machine. I, I know the CEO. Uh, yeah. It's called the King's Treasure Box, Box in English, and he puts a lot of really unique items. You don't know what you're going to get, but... I'll try it. Really? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's gamble. I don't really gamble like for money, but I'll gamble for mystery items. I can't tell you exactly where everything is, but he did say that he seems to put a lot of the stuff on the third row. So he goes one, two, three? I I'll go. I'll believe, go with. I'm okay, let's sure. let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I'll take any uh, any hints I can. We got it. Oh. What? It feels too light. What is this? <laughs> it feels way too light. Oh, it's a hat. Boy, it's a hat with a freaking headphones on it. USA wireless cap. It's weirdly cool, but not worth ten dollars. That's maybe. not worth ten dollars at all. I'm giving this away. So follow me on Instagram, and I'll post this on Instagram at some point. This also has a uh, um, weird. Durian juice? No. Are you trying it? No. <laughs> I'll try it. You, I'll, I'll try it if you Yeah, want try it, okay, man. Okay, okay. Oh, it's, oh, it's soda. Yeah, I see the oh, air. Durian soda? It's a soda. You gotta smell this before we drink it. Yes. If it doesn't pass the smell test. Oh, I smell that already. Oh, I smell that already. You don't smell that? That was the a The wind's going burst. this way. The wind's that was, going. That was a burst of rottenness. Oh, 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 dude. Who cut the cheese? Dude. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna do a shot. I can't, dude. I don't want to take the chance of drinking more than I need to. It's not good. <laughs> Get the essence of durian in there. Yeah, it's I mean, I'll wake you up and be like, and you know, make you feel like, yeah, I gotta do laundry or something. It's not so pungent. That's that's the thing. Yeah, I don't want to offend people who love durian. All right, I I know durian is there's the season. I guess it's good in season. Maybe I don't know. It's it's good fresh. It's really good. Yeah. Hey man, appreciate you uh, showing me more of the little vending machines. Thanks for uh, hanging out this time. I'm in Japan. My pleasure. Still, take care of yourself, dude. Yeah, thank be you. safe. You yeah. guys be safe too, but you be safe here. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys, definitely check him out. Only in Japan. Really cool channel. Really good dude. And thank you again so much for watching. Until we eat again.